Hello Pisces and welcome to your daily reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will take a look into the information and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? Let's see what we start off with. We start off with the Ace of Cups. What a beautiful thing to start off with. A new beginning, a new emotional beginning. Very watery energy as you, Pisces, approach the birth, the rebirth of your new solar year. The solar year is coming to an end and you have a new one starting. Then we see the Three of Swords. You are going, I'm, I'm hearing you're going to be washed clean of the sadness, of the sorrow, of the pain and the loss. It's a choice though, a choice as you move forward into this next season, into this next chapter, this next solar year, a choice to cut yourself free from what has been in your energy. What other messages from Pi for Pisces, please? What other messages for Pisces, please, for this reading? Okay, let's see what we have here. So we have several messages coming out. The next one is the Six of Wands. You will have victory. You will have victory. You will rise above. This is recognition and reward. Spirit is also recognizing your efforts, your endeavors. The next message we have is the Two of Coins. You may be... I'm hearing the word undulating, um, but you may be going back and forth regarding a decision or some, I'm hearing also prioritization. You may be deciding what your new priorities are. And I say new because something new is unfolding in your world. The next thing we have is the Six of Cups. This is about memories, beliefs, memories from childhood. This is also a card of nostalgia. The Six of Cups is about remembrance, remembering things uh, um, in a favorable light from childhood, but then also it, it doesn't necessarily have to be just childhood, but from your soul's path. The Six of Cups for me as a reader calls, calls to your soul, your soul's remembrance of your path, of your journey, of soul remembrance of past lives and i'm hearing past love as well the next thing we have is the five of swords the five of swords is a combination of the two of swords and the three of swords so making a decision to release any type of heartache and pain taking a primary sword here for five of swords is two plus three it's also four plus one so what we're seeing here is two of swords making a choice to cut yourself free from some resistant energy or something that has been troubling you, causing you that heartache and pain, but then also going into the ace of swords and four of swords to combine to five to have the ace of swords cut you away from heartache and pain and move you to a place of peace. The next message we have is the knight of coins this process has been i'm hearing arduous this process has taken time but you are moving forward the knight of coins is very determined very focused very grounded energy i'm also hearing that your elders have been speaking to you your ancestors and guides have been guiding you in the direction of your soul's journey then we have here the three of well, the three of Empress, that makes sense, right? But we have Empress, three being the number of Pisces, Empress being Venus energy, going in the direction of your love, of your abundance, of your fertility, of your growth, of nurturing yourself. We also see on this card, many animals of different types, spirit coming, surrounding you, nurturing you. I feel as you're going through this next season, as you have been before, Spirit is holding you in their arms and wants you to recognize that you are a child of divine, you are a child of God, you are a child of the universe. Let's continue. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this Ace of Cups, please? 
What do you want Pisces to know about this Ace of Cups, please? I'm hearing you are my divine child. What is this Ace of Cups, please? I'm, I'm hearing I'm bringing forward something new for you. Literally, this is about going forward. I'm bringing something new forward for you. What is this Three of Swords, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Three? They want me to go back and clarify this Eight of Wands. Hold on. Spirit, what do we need to know about this Eight of Wands? What does Pisces need to know about this Eight of Wands, please? Okay. So we're getting two cards for this Eight of Wands. You're literally moving forward. We're bringing something new forward for you that's in alignment with your destiny. You have mastered many tests. You have mastered many skills. And Spirit, this is confirmation that Spirit is King of Cups, masculine water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is moving you forward into your next solar journey. This is a cycle change. What is this Three of Swords for Pisces, please? For the Three of Swords, we're getting the Four of Wands. You are going to be going, cutting away this heartache and pain and going towards a place of celebration. What does Pisces need to know about this Four of Wands, please? There's going to be a new foundation for you to celebrate, maybe a new home, a new relationship, a new celebration, a manifestation coming in. What is this Four of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you. We have three cards for the Four of Wands. The first one, Eight of Wands again, Pisces. You're moving forward. This is such a divine blessing for you to move forward out of seasons of difficulty into a season of regroundedness, into this moving out of heartache and pain, moving into something very blessed for you. Amen. Ten of Pentacles. Security, stability, commitment but you don't see it where you're at right now one of the things that could get in your way perhaps is your own mentality because you've been so used to weathering storms you've been so used to having obstacles and things people situations cause you pain get in the way and oftentimes you one of the greatest obstacles is yourself but here spirit is saying please be mindful about how you're getting in your own way, your thoughts, your behaviors, how you're keeping yourself stuck in old expired patterns because spirit is trying to move you forward. What, do, what does Pisces need to know about this Eight of Swords, please? Let's get another deck. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this Eight of Swords? How do, what do you need to know about this Eight of Swords, please? Move forward, Pisces. World card. You've come to completion of a cycle and you may be inclined to stay stuck, Eight of Swords, stay stuck, because you don't necessarily, you haven't lived through this, you haven't walked through this new gateway before, you haven't walked through this new chapter before, it's going to be new to you, so Spirit is asking that you have, um, you open yourself up to new possibilities. What is this Eight of, or Six of Wands for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Six of Wands? For the Six of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups. So we have masculine water energy and feminine water energy along with the strength. You are overcoming. You are going to have recognition and rewards for your strength, for your tenacity, for your courage. You have stood tall. You have stood bravely and overcome the challenges that have been presented to you. What is the strength card for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about the strength, please? This is also Spirit saying that you're being recognized for your strong intuition and your spiritual gifts for having discernment in situations. And what is this Queen of Cups, please? For the Queen of Cups, now you have a new beginning. So because you have logically processed through these chapters and cycles, you're being presented with this new beginning and you're going to be making the right best choices for yourself if you heed your intuition and get out of the old mindsets or old paradigms, the old dialogues, things that are unhealthy and not supporting of your growth and expansion. What is this two of coins for Pisces? For the two of coins, we are having the nine of swords. So you may be undulating, having back and forth energy because you may be stressed. 
You may have anxiety about your future, anxiety about a choice. Is the choice you're making the right one for you? Is it going to be supportive of your soul's journey? That's a normal, very human, very real experience to go through. What is this Nine of Swords, please? You may also be worried about instability. What is this Nine of Swords? For the Nine of Swords, yeah, you may feel fragmented. There's so much going on, so many different options. But this is not a time to allow yourself to be fragmented. It's not a time to allow yourself to be imbalanced or focus on stress and anxiety. This is a time to make a very concrete, grounded decision to not allow your mind to get the best of you, to not allow your emotions to get the best of you, and to really go forward no matter what the past had brought to you. This is about freeing yourself and moving into this abundance, this empress energy. What is the Six of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about the Six of Cups? What is the Six of Cups? I, I'm hearing, I am the way maker. I will provide for you. Here for the Six of Cups, you may have had something very unhealthy or chaining in your past. That is what may be interrupting your present. Let's see what this devil is. Devil is also Capricorn energy. It can also speak about finances, but let's just see what's going on. What is this devil for Pisces? Why is this devil here? I, I am hearing there is something unhealthy from your past that may be very triggering for you. He, yeah, the, there's no card more triggering than the tower. And here, but you're going to rise above. Six of wands, you're overcoming you're overcoming the devils from your past. You're rising above, rising up. You're passing this test with golden colors, golden stars. And you're going to definitely move forward. Um, suddenly unchained and moving forward. We see overcoming. What is this five of swords for Pisces? What is this five of swords? Thank you. For this five of swords, Pisces, we're getting beautiful. When you make that decision, remember how we said within this five of swords, there's the two and three of swords. There's also the ace of swords and the four of swords. Both combinations add to five of swords. You're cutting away. You're using this powerful ace of swords to come to a place of peace, which is leading you to your wish fulfillment, to a place that you have really wanted to be for quite a while. And what is this nine of cups for Pisces? What is this nine of cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? Please show us clearly what do you want Pisces to know about this nine of cups. Also, Pisces energy. What does Pisces need to know about this? Thank you. Two cards. You're walking away. Beautiful. Nothing says moving on. Nothing says moving forward. Nothing says leaving the past. Six of cups. Five of swords. You're moving on. There is no turning back. Clarifying... Your wish fulfillment is not behind you. Your wish fulfillment is before you. You're moving on literally towards something better, tran transitioning, moving on, leaving behind in order to go towards your nine of cups, your ultimate fulfillment, what is going to bring you joy and happiness. What is this knight of coins for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this knight of coins? What is this knight of coins? And so you're cutting yourself free. Remember how we were saying the five of swords is also the ace of swords and the four of swords. So you're using that ace of swords. Here the queen of swords also has that so single sword, the ace of swords, making a decision for your truth, your clarity, for what is right for you. Cutting yourself free, un making sure that you have, you're not moving forward with baggage. Cutting yourself free from the change suddenly having victory over the things that bound you. Um, I, I am being called to um, hear um, bindage work. Um, let's move on from that. And then we see because you're choosing to cut yourself free from darkness and move into light, to move into peace, move towards your wish fulfillment, we see you are in fact moving forward. And what is this Knight of Coins, please? What is this Knight of Coins for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about? Thank you so much. We have the Page of Wands. One more card for this Knight of Coins. One more card for this. Thank you. And then here we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you're moving forward into a much more secure, much more stable time for yourself. 
Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This could be your security, your stability matters around the home. Let's clarify. This could also be a message coming in regarding your security that there are changes. Um, these are positive aspects. The next card is the Empress. So we're, we're seeing that the, this grouping of cards surrounded by positive energy. What is this page of wands for Pisces? What is this page of wands for Pisces, please? And here for the page of wands, you're mo moving, changing, traveling. There is a communication regarding a change that is occurring. And what is this queen of pentacles, please? So we have the knight of pentacles, which is changed the knight of wands, which is they're both about change and action. Then we have the king of swords. King of swords is a masculine air energy. And we have the queen of swords. This is about you using your discernment. This could also be somebody in a position of power or leadership or expertise that is going to communicate information to you. We, we also have potential within this change. You may be involved with somebody who has earth in their chart. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or air in their chart. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. I also see that this change could be happening or this communication could be happening on the cusp of Capricorn and Aquarius season. Let's take a look at this Empress. Spirit, what is this Empress for Pisces? What is this Empress? For, thank you. For this Empress, we're getting quite a bit of information here. The first information is Page of Pentacles. There is a new offer, or opportunity, or message here. The Page of Pentacles also speaks about learning. But here with the, the Empress and the Page of Pentacles, this is earthy energy. This is very grounded energy. Queen of Wands, being a super tractor, feminine, fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sag, Sagittarius. And then the Page of Cups. So we have two pages within this empress so this is about new things new starts pages are early energy we have the page of wands page of pentacles page of cups so we are seeing here pisces within your energy that there is newness there is um some of you may have a younger person two per, perhaps even two younger people around you one with earth in their chart one with water in their chart but we are seeing manifesting new things e e tangible new things and emotional new things you're manifesting giving birth to these new things in your queen of wands energy in your super tractor very charismatic energy some of you could have um, multiple suitors as well not all of you so please you know be mindful of reactions when um you might be anyway spirit says don't give comment to that. So let's see, what is this page of pentacles for Pisces? What is this, thank, thank you. For this page of pentacles, we're having justice. It's divine timing for an opportunity because of the trauma you have gone through. I'm gonna clarify these one more layer. Um, this is an opportunity coming in as I'm hearing compensation as equalization. What is this justice, Libra energy? What is this justice for Pisces? What is this justice for Pisces, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this justice card? Thank you. Nine of Cups, baby. For the second time, justice is coming, bringing in a wish fulfillment. What is this Ten of Swords, please? The worst is now behind you. What is this Ten of Swords? Strength. You, you had strength. You had strength when you had no strength. You dug deep into your resources and you overcame this Ten of Swords. Looking at these three cards here, the Ten of Swords, you can see the yellow, the sun rising in the background. Justice is bringing in a wish fulfillment because you endured, you had patience through the trauma, through the pain, even when you felt as though you had no patience, even though you felt as everything was falling apart, you stood strong and you continued. And now we're seeing this Ten of Swords is being transmuted into a new beginning for you. What is this Queen of Wands, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Queen of Wands? Wow. So we see a new opportunity is coming to you. This is also emotional change. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and Knight of Cups. Now, things are changing. You are taking action across the different realms, elements of your life. And what is this Page of Cups, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Page of Cups, please? Thank you. 
and you're letting go. Not only are you letting go, you're having an emotional, a physical, a mental transformation. You have been in an uncomfortable position for far too long and it's time to evolve. This is your evolution. This is your transformation. What is this hangman for Pisces? What is this hangman for Pisces? What is coming in? Yes, absolutely. What is coming in is going to give you a rebirth. Letting, this is also Pisces, going towards something new because you, you've been in an uncomfortable position. Position. The night, I stand corrected, the hangman also speaks about delays. With the death card clarifying the hangman, this is saying delays are now over. Let's get one card for the overall energy of this reading for you, Pisces. Delays are over, Pisces. Here, one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please. And we are getting harmony. Things are coming into harmony. This is the lover's card. This is about pairing, union, choices, coming into harmony with yourself, with your divine parts of yourself, your divine masculine and your divine feminine within yourself are coming into balance are coming into harmony with each other. And as that happens, you're also going to see different elements and parts of your life come into harmony. Please do be mindful that this these choices also include your free will. If you choose to go in the path of disharmony, you will be surrounded by disharmony. If you choose to go in the path of harmony, in the in the path of peace, Ace of Swords, making that choice for a new beginning that's peaceful, four of swords, um, then you're going to see your, your life come into harmony. Delays are over, new opportunities are coming in, divine is stepping in because of the trauma and the pain that you have endured, and you're going towards your wish fulfillment. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces. One oracle for Pisces for this reading. This is also, I'm hearing, this is also because Pisces, you have chosen to walk in faith. Spirit, thank you. And here we have abundance. Empress energy, abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And we see you harnessing the power of this energy, Pisces. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces for this reading. Okay, we have, oh, that's too many. Show us clearly what Pisces needs to see. Please show us clearly what Pisces needs to see. Show us clearly what Pisces needs to see, please, Spirit. Oops. What, what, blah. <laughs> sometimes I get tongue-tied. Sometimes I'm all, all too human, just like everyone else. Let's see. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces for this reading, please. Thank you so much. And here, Pisces, we are getting shine, baby. Calendula, I believe is the flower. Candula. Can, calendula. Um, but shine, you are radiant, Pisces. Delays are coming to an end. It's time to shine. It's time to step into the truth of who you are. You are a divine being. You are a child of divine. Spirit, one angel answers for Pisces for this reading. One angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please. Thank you. And we have three coming out, I think. The first one we have is choose a new direction. And this is what you're being called to do. You are no longer able to stay where you were. Delays are over. You're no longer in a, in a position of delay or soon you will be moving out. We had the eight of wands twice directly after each other. We have a decision here, a decision to move in a new direction. One that does not contain that stress. One that you're not fragmented in, but one where you're really going towards your wish fulfillment. Then we have romance. So for some of you, that new direction could in fact be opening yourself up to the possibility of romance. And then ask your angels. Always your angels, your guides, guardians, angels and ancestors, spirit, God is always there to guide you, to assist you. All you need to do is ask them and invite them in to guide you and show you Um guidance, directions, answers, whatever it is you're calling upon them for. Spirit 1, Fortune Cookie Oracle for Pisces for this reading to close it out, please. And here, Pisces, we are getting jealousy. Well, gosh, 
this isn't fun, right? Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and plenish. So what I'm, as I was hearing this Pisces, as you are choosing a new direction, as you're moving forward from where you have been in a place that perhaps had that stress, had that anxiety, had that fragmentation, you are going to be having changes that occur within you and for you. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and Knight of Cups. These are tangible physical changes. These are changes in the things you are doing, and these are changes in your emotions. So as you are going forward, people, as you change and make different decisions than you've made before, and are walking in a new direction than you've walked before, people will notice. And that may, people may not understand. People may cast judgment. But understand, this is your life. It's not their life. This is your soul's journey, your soul path, and your decisions to make. So please, you know, just respect yourself enough to allow your journey to be for you and not be influenced by what other people might think or um, situations that are quite frankly beneath you. But then spirit wants me to draw attention here, spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. For some of you, that is, I'm hearing for some of you, that is what is needed to be able to more clearly hear um, the guidance from your angels and ancestors. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.